This is Malaysia. Malaysia is known for its incredible diversity with a mix of cultures, languages and religions coexisting. One of the most iconic sites in the country is the Batu Caves, a famous Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Murugan. But did you know that Ipo is home to another beautiful temple dedicated to the same deity? Join us today as we explore Ipo's Kalumalai Temple. Welcome back to Going Going Back Back where we take you along on our family's adventures as we travel the world full time. Today we're diving into the rich cultural tapestry of Malaysia with a visit to the Kalum Malai Temple. Good morning from Ipo, Malaysia, where we are at the Kalum Malai Temple. This is a temple of Murugan, the uh, god of war, son of Shiva and Parvati and brother of Ganesh. This temple has been an important temple for the Tamil community here in Ipo for more than 100 years. There was an original cave temple on this site in 1887, 1897. Uh, unfortunately, rocks fell on a priest, killing the priest at that time. So they moved that temple outside of the cave and rebuilt it here in 1930. So the tem temple has been standing here for almost 100 years as a place of worship for the Tamil community here in Ipoh, Malaysia. It's a beautiful temple. Uh, the Gopuram at the front of the temple is 21 meters high with more than 500 different beautiful colorful representations of different demigods and uh, it's really a beautiful place to come and visit at the moment there's a wedding going on so you can hear fantastic drumming in the background there are peacocks uh, there are the sound of other birds here and you have the beautiful cast limestone mountains right beside you it's a beautiful setting a beautiful temple definitely worth a visit Malaysia's Indian community makes up about 7% of the country's population and has deep roots in the country's history. Many Indian Malaysians are descendants of immigrants who came during the British colonial period to work on plantations and in the railway industry. Today, they are an integral part of Malaysia's multicultural society, contributing to its vibrant culture, cuisine and traditions. The Kalu Malai Temple is decorated with colourful murals depicting scenes from Hindu mythology and has a number of altars to different deities to whom you can make a donation and offer a ghee lamp. What you got? Um, ghee lamps. It's one piece is one ring on me. Ipo's famous karst mountains. And this is a small section of the temple that is devoted to Nataraj, form of 
Lord Shiva. The dance is the dance of destruction. The majority of Indian Malaysians are of Tamil descent from the state of Tamil Nadu in South India. And Lord Murugan, who stands 140 feet tall at the Batu Caves and is also the main deity at this temple, is considered the protector of the Tamil people. <laughs> Alright, how you guys like this temple? I'm good. What's your favorite part? I just found a peacock feather and I kept it in this piece of paper. It's so pretty. Now I'm gonna go show you the amazing peacock. Amazing. And pea hens. So Lord Murugan, or Kartikeya, <laughs> Lord Murugan is the god of war and his animal companion and mount is, I've heard alternate claims that actually it's a peahen or a peacock and here at the temple they have an enclosure with peahens and peacocks where you can hear them in the background. They have quite a loud call, a raucous call, the peacock. The temple is a popular wedding destination. It is 10 a.m. on a Thursday morning and there is a wedding taking place inside with some awesome sound and music. Let's go see if we can take a peek. They have said that we're welcome to come in and have a look at the wedding. So let's go see. Because it will make it all dirty like now. Because they don't like the temple dirty. So we were offered some um, prasadam here from the temple. It's a vegetarian noodle dish. Looks like there's some tofu in there. So we're gonna go across to the park and enjoy that. It looks delicious. you'd be thrilled to know that if you cross the street, walk down the shaded path and across the bridge, you're gonna end up at some soccer fields and this awesome playground. It's pretty shady, some parts of it in the sun, in the middle of the day it probably gets a bit hot, but if you're late morning, 
and before the really intense heat of the day there's a nice amount of shade some seating and the playground itself looks really fun so we've stopped here for some snacks and for the kids to run around and play <laughs> park and I highly recommend it. There's a couple of playgrounds. You got water and trees to cool things down here yeah. and it's really beautiful and it's really serene and I would definitely bring the kids back here again and recommend that you bring your kids here too. Great time for lunch at YC Veg Life Cafe. Thank you. Thank you. YC Veg Life Cafe is in downtown Ipo. It's a vegetarian cafe that does have some vegan options, including this uh, vegan nasi lamak this veganized fish burger oh it's awesome on the sandwich and these are delicious vegan curry noodles yum what did you have how was your fruit, Gigi? I got a vegan fish burger and I ate it all. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this journey through Ipo's Kalumalai Temple. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.